Hi, welcome back to Bite Size Music. Today I'm going to talk about how to spice up a very simple chord progression. So, if we take the chords C, A minor, F and G, and to play those, you play the standard C shape on a guitar, which is the notes C, E and G, and then C and E again, played starting on the A string. Okay, then you play A minor, which is using the A minor shape, very similar to the C, you just take this finger off, tuck it in here on this A, on the G string, and you get A, then you get the E, then you get A again, then you get C, and then E. So A minor, and it's called the relative minor of C, because it shares two notes. Then, and it's a minor third down. So, uh, then you get F, which is just F, A, and C. And using the E major voice uh, shape, which is played here on the first fret, you get the chord of F, and it goes F, C, F, the uh, A there, and then oops, C, and then F again, and then G major, which is G, B, and D, and you get a G, and a B, and a G. So that sounds very 50s if you play it like this. And if you're going to do that, just really work on making sure that all the notes in the chords ring out nice and clean. And then practice changing between them, moving your fingers, you know, slow enough that you can get to the chord without it choking any notes. a little bit of work on this change here because I can just feel my hand tensing up when I do it. Anyway, um, now to add some spice. Uh, first thing you could do is just take your, this finger off. So you turn that from a C major to a C major 7 because you're adding the B on top. It's a mellow feeling. the same trick to the A minor by taking off that octave A there on the G string, turning into G, which is a minor seventh. So you can sort of go. Now for the F, if you play it with this full bar, it's quite difficult to do anything with that. Uh, you could do some sus, sus fours, but that's not in the key because there's no B flat in this key. So what I would do is try and fret it like this if you can. Thumb down here, then you've got the FAC here. So then you can do and the same trick. You could take off one of the notes. You could, well, you could play the open E on top, you get an F major seven. Or you can take off your middle finger here, get a nice nine, that G. There's two second notes of the, uh, of the scale, but when you're playing it an octave higher, it's called a nine because it's after eight. It's a nice sound. So let's just stick with that for a minute and go. Ah, okay. So that's already sounding a bit more interesting. And at this point, you might want to change to the dominant seventh, which you can fret like play the root the three, and then a load of open, and then you put the F on top. And that chord introduces some musical tension that makes you want to resolve back to the root. So now you'll get a bit of this. Um, sorry. and do a substitution. And two common substitutions from the C chord are uh, A minor, because it shares two notes, or E minor, because the E minor has the chords E, G, and B in them. The G and C major seventh, which we played before, has E, G, and B in it. 
So you could play um, an E minor seven here. Instead of this, you could do a. Uh, Yeah, okay, so you can go on. Um, bit of delayed gratification for you there. So if I play the whole progression now, do it the standard way the first time just with the extra notes, and then I'll do the substitution for the E minor 7. So. up. I hope you found that useful. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel uh, if you like this and uh, hit me with some comments, some thumbs up if, and that sort of thing and I'll see you tomorrow on Bite Size Music for more short musical stuff.